an hour late. Nonsense. Why is he not showing up? <sighs> Sorry for being so late. Okay, but while waiting, I was almost bored to death. By the way, what made you come so late? I was in a so bustling and crowded place. I tried my best to elbow my way through the crowd, but unfortunately, I couldn't make it. What were they for? I briefly overheard that they were talking about national debt. National debt? Hmm. Oh, there might be a national debt redemption movement started from Daegu. It's partly because the Japanese government ultimately tried to put us under their knees by forcefully piling up loans on the Korean government after the Japan-Korea Treaty of 1905, so-called the Ulsa Treaty, which was to steal our diplomatic rights. The debt was used with bombastic excuses to carry out currency exchange, financial planning relief, and the expansion of harbor facilities. The loan we owed them was as much as 13 million won. That's such a jaw-dropping amount. That's why my dad is determined to quit smoking as well as alcohol. And my mom went out with ornaments and gold accessories in her hands to donate. But in my opinion, it seems too reckless to reimburse that tremendous amount of debt. As an old saying goes, many drops make a shower. Several organizations and many people, regardless of class, spontaneously united in this campaign. They are putting their dauntless effort in compensating the national debt. I guess we'll see the ending credits soon. Then our help will also be a big contribution. Let's go give some a helping hand. Sounds great. This episode depicts some part of the National Debt Redemption Movement occurred from 1907 to 1910. Sadly, however, it couldn't meet its full standard since the Japanese government falsely charged Yang Gitak of compensation embezzlement, who was the administrator of the Mail newspaper back then playing a vital role in the drive. Do you know that the whole process of this historic event is recorded as documents? These are the archives of the National Debt Redemption Movement selected as the UNESCO Memory of the World in 2017. In total, they consist of 2,470 handwritten files, Japanese government record and press record portraying the situation. Distinguished from other movements, the National Debt Redemption Campaign happened far earlier and is the longest donation campaign throughout the world. As the archives are showing this monumental movement without any distortion and damage, they got recognition of their historical value, selected as UNESCO Memory of the World. The movement infused ethnicity under the Japanese invasion. Moreover, it also encompasses a meaningful and heart-shaking national spirit. That is, joint responsibility. I'm so happy to hear that many people are willing to write the national debt off by killing smoking and alcohol or in other ways. I cannot estimate how big the 13 million one is, but I am so thrilled that the people are trying to ponder over several ways to forget the debt. By donating their rings, 10 million will wash away the humiliation. We, as a whole, will achieve the foundation for independence and will end up in regaining our, our free will as well as sovereignty. This is a quote from the Hamel newspaper that precisely shows the national spirit, which is joint responsibility. By completing debtors' duties, this conveys a national spirit with which Koreans have overcome many crises. Still, the quality is believed to be alive in the, blood of in the blood of Koreans in the form of patriotism. It has passed down generation to generation, and thanks to this spirit, we could overcome the foreign exchange crisis in 1997 too. And this time, we firmly believe that we could go through the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic as well. Thank you. No, thank you, guys.